Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to IT for Solutions In this video we are going to learn SQL Joins So first understand what are Joins SQL Joins are used to combine records from two or more uh, tables SQL Join is used to combine records from two tables on specific conditions You can write uh, SQL Join for more than two tables three, four you can combine records from three or four tables here are some types of joins inner join right join left join full join full outer join right outer join a lot of more but in reality these three are the common types of join that are being used and from these three these are the two types that are mostly used by sql developers in the world so we will learn about these three joins okay so first understand why we need joins let's say uh, we have currently select store from employees okay we have this employees table and it contains uh, employees details and also the foreign key of department id and department's table and organization id from organization's table let's say our requirement is to display all employees with their department name okay now we don't have department name over here in this table we have uh, this department name column in the department table so uh, this is what uh, we need joins to implement this scenario to cover this scenario we will use join to join these two tables employees and departments on the basis of their primary keys and foreign keys so we will write a query to select all the records from uh, this employees table and uh, uh, with corresponding their department name and we will remove this department id from here so this is our scenario so what should i do we will write our sql query like this select e dot employee id e as an alias for employees table next e dot employee name and then e dot gender and then e dot city and then e dot district and then I want to display the department name but we don't have department name in the E table or employees table then I will write D dot department name okay I don't want to discuss organizations over here so left this one and we will implement inner join in this example so from employees as E okay so if you select uh, if you remove this uh, column from here first select only records from this employees table okay so select and execute look at this uh, let me move this one to the right. if you look at this we have employees from uh, uh, from employees uh, we have employee records from employees table and now we want to display the um, uh, department of each employee so how to use join i will write inner or left or right we will do examples for left or right in the next video so i will uh, write inner then join and then i will write the table departments i want to join de with departments table okay so i will give d as alias and then i will specify on which basis i want to join this on e dot department id equals to d dot department id okay here is the primary key of this table so this would be better to write it over here but it doesn't matter okay so i want to join this employees table with this department table on the basis of their primary keys and foreign keys so we have department id in the primary key in the department table and we have department id as a foreign key in on the employees table so if we execute this look at this it doesn't affect to my query so i can access now uh, departments uh, the column of departments table by using this t 
so i will write d dot department name okay so select this query and look at this we have all employees from department table uh, our department column is also shown over here so we have currently all employees from departments table let me make sure what we have in the employees table we have three uh, departments okay now i will go to employees table and i'll assign different ids to different employees okay so we have now different departments uh, in the employees table okay so next i will execute this query again look at this we have uh, Rauf from software department and then Ali and Shahid Hussain from de web development and then Saeed from software development and Zishan and Yasser from graphic designing and Ahmed from web de development. Let me make sure that Rauf and Saeed from software development. So we'll make sure the software development department ID is 1 and then in the employees table we'll make sure Rauf Yasin has department ID 1 and Saeed also has department ID 1. In the same case, we have three employees uh, whose department ID is 2. Next, make sure uh, department ID 2 is web development. So, we have three employees. So, 1, 2 and 3. We have these two employees from web development and this Ahmed from web development. So, this is how you can use inner giant. But make sure inner giant doesn't return data which doesn't have any matching rows. Okay. What does this mean? Let uh, let me add another department in the department table. Okay, so this department is of uh, database administration. Okay, we have this department. Okay, now when I execute this left uh, inner join, look at this. We don't have any records from uh, department table that is not matching because we have this database administration department name over here but we are not uh, uh, getting that department uh, name, uh, name over here because we don't have any matching record matching what does mean by matching record we should match these IDs from here in the departments table and also over here look at this we don't have department ID 4 in the table so join inner join with only return the data if all the uh, IDs and all the primary and foreign keys or specified conditions in the inner join uh, should be matched okay and let's make sure it uh, inner join doesn't require only primary keys you can also join two or more tables on the basis of uh, many as many conditions you want okay and this doesn't means that you can uh, explicitly set these primary and foreign keys it will automatically execute matching rows and will uh, uh, display that matching rows okay so uh, if i want to assign this four look at this we have all departments assigned to our employees if i execute this query now look at this we have database administration because this matches with the word this table and this table okay so this is how you can use inner join in the next video we will learn about left join and then we will learn about right join so thank you so much we will meet again in the next video take care of yourself allah is assalamualaikum